The bouncer accused in this vicious beatdown heading to court today where he was officially arraigned on charges. Sam Steve Cooper is live outside Worcester District Court with more. And that beating was posted on YouTube last year. It actually happened last year. It was just posted on YouTube last month. And fast forward to today, after the suspect was arrested, made an appearance in court before the judge. Kidnapping. Strip club bouncer Easton Byfield of Oxford enters a not guilty plea today, but prosecutors say they have a copy of this video that was posted on YouTube that proves their case. That video did end up on um, YouTube, and, is, uh, and at this point in time, Your Honor, the uh, Commonwealth does have copies of that. The 35-year-old was arrested on charges that he, along with another bouncer, locked a patron at the Platinum Premier Club in the bathroom last May so he couldn't escape. That's when police say Byfield punched the victim not once but four times. And prosecutors say that's not all. Byfield then took $300 in cash from the victim's wallet. This defendant struck uh, the victim several times in the face. Uh, also, uh, it's also shown in the video that he locked the door, prevented this person from leaving. And prosecutors also maintained when the tape surfaced on YouTube last month, Byfield went to Worcester Police and filed a report claiming the victim assaulted him. But the video, they say, clearly shows it was the other way around, and now Byfield is also charged with filing a false report. I did have conversations with Mr. Byfield. Originally it stated that uh, he was the victim in the case, but the video uh, does not hold that out. Mr. Murphy, what do you want to tell us uh, at this point? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have any comment right now, but thanks for asking. No comment, like I just told you. Excuse me, gentlemen. Excuse me. Watch out. Excuse me. Excuse me. We did try to ask him why the incident was videotaped. Sounds like you want to say something. What do you want to say? I'm breathing. I breathe heavy. But you don't want to say anything about the tape or how that happened? Or do you regret what happened? All right, Byfield is due back in court later in the month after he posted the $7,500 cash bail, but he was also ordered by the judge to stay away from the victim in this case. In the meantime, we're told Worcester police are still trying to figure out if he has done this in the past. We're live in Worcester this afternoon. Steve Cooper, 7 News.